uh, blockchain bloat. So this one actually I think is almost self-explanatory for any uh, younger audience out there because I know uh, a lot of people talk about bloat when they talk about cell phones and apps. You know, you buy a Samsung phone and you get all this bloat software, or bloatware, which is basically just all these apps that no one ever wants to use, but they're on there and you, have, and you can't even delete some of them, right? So people get all upset. Apple does that as well, for sure. So bloat is bloat. Bloat means too much data. So as you get more and more transactions on a blockchain, more and more things happen. Not only does the entire, not only does every block start to have more data, but the entire chain gets larger and larger and larger. So when you're syncing with a wallet or you're having to sync some type of, of app to get transaction records, it can take more and more time. Not only that, but the saturation of data, the bloat can cause transaction fees to increase. So this is why companies like Ethereum are looking at things like plasma and sharding, which basically reduce the bloat. You reduce the bloat. The idea is that you can scale faster uh, and not only scale faster, but keep fees in line and, and reduce fees. So that's what blockchain bloat is in a nutshell.